What's up guys, Steve Scotch and Things. Sorry for the handheld shaky video, but I just got this new um, tool belt, tool rig they call it, from DeWalt. A professional tool rig with suspenders. And there is the, the glare. Let's, let's say DWS T5 40602. There you go, if you're interested. So, this was kind of the style I'd used for years. If you watch, I did a video probably four years ago. Um, I'd been getting these Cordura nylon bags from, uh, I think it was Home Depot or Lowe's. I can't remember what the brand was called. I think it was AWP. And they'd last a year or two, and then, you know, something would give out, and a pocket would break or whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden they started breaking like after the first month. So I ordered a leather DeWalt um, and it's worked fine. I didn't really like it when I got it. Uh, the pouches were, I think it was more for a framer. Uh, the pouches were more on your back, mid back than on your sides. And I like everything at my sides for, you know, when you're reaching and grabbing. So, um, when I saw this, all my guys have recently, within the last year, gone to suspenders of some sort on their kits. Um, it, it does help because um, you got to think these pockets are pretty big and they are full of nothing but um, nuts and bolts. So you can easily have another 20, 25 pounds on you, plus then all your tools. Um, really, for me, like this is maybe a i don't know i think it's going to be be good see if i can lay it out for you so you can see everything but basically these big pockets will be for nuts and bolts i'll keep my tape measure there i'll keep my sockets basically we just kind of depending on the bin manufacturer most bins are pretty standard on their on their sizes they use so that's good um i'll find something you know throw uh, I saw a part over somewhere, either here or, oh, right back here. Um, you know, I'll carry an extra marker somewhere, but these nice elastic bands right here, and I'll probably carry my drift punches. We carry drift punches in all different sizes. Here's a smaller one, um, but it's, you know, for lining up the holes in the sheet, sorry. But we'll see how that... I don't know if that has enough retention there. Like I said, the bigger ones won't be an issue. So I'll kind of play around with it and get it set up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, lots of little pockets for stuff to just get lost in, but I don't necessarily need all that stuff. Cause like, oh, I guess I do. So basically everybody has a set of deep, um, well sockets and short sockets and half inch and 916 those are what we usually that's pretty much basic for everything um, and then the oddball sizes we just leave in the trailer um, and then wrenches opened and closed in wrenches for those corresponding sizes uh, like I said drift punches tape measure markers um, and whatever else you can think that comes in handy lighter for the torch but yeah there's lots of extra extra space but i tried it on got it fit to me um it is kind of bulky but comfortable and i like these side grab handles for me when i put it on at least now i guess i can just use this to throw on but i just kind of wanted to give you guys a look see um we, we do use hammers from time to time, but we don't carry them on us. Uh, it looks like I can take that off if I want. Um, what I do use, oh, here's another one over here. What's handy, DeWalt, our impacts have a, a little latch on the side for hooking on stuff. And it latches, it'll hook on there fine. So, you know, if you need to not be holding on to your impact to do something else, you just latch it on there. Um, and I'm left-handed, so I don't have to mess with that. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you new tool belt. I don't know what all this crap is. 
um, but we'll see how it holds up. Um, like I said, my last one, it finally broke uh, the strap and one, it was my fault. I didn't realize I set it, I hooked it up over our, our generator and we were running it and it had come undone and one of the, one of the buckles had come down and gotten too close to the exhaust. So it, it had melted through to about there and then it just finally gave up. So adjustable belt for different sizes. Yeah, this is a really kind of a poor quality video to show you a tool belt, but I was going to get it set up and I got a few seconds. Lots of padding on the harness, so. Should, should work out pretty good. So, excited to get her filled up tomorrow. But uh, that's all I got for you. And... Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.